Well, Coach, just, you know, you're several years into the transfer portal now. How has, you know, your experience in the previous few years informed, you know, how you go about trying to incorporate these guys in the summer? You know, we, we've had really good experience with it because I think the quality of people that we've recruited and uh, the ones that we've, uh, as we sit down and talk to them, we've always point blank said to them, we want you to come here for the right reason first. Then we can talk about the NIL. But uh, we have been blessed the uh, Really, the last couple of years, uh, I think our uh, assistants have done a great job with the eval and and um, the intel that uh, we needed to get, and so we've been really happy with what uh, we've been able to accomplish with it. So, how has that process gone of making sure kids are interested in Tennessee for the right reasons? Because coaches in other sports have talked about, hey, if you're coming here for the wrong reasons, we don't want you. You're doing work. Up front, or are you finding that out during the process? Well, I think you got to find it out during the process. I always felt through the years there's always been a lot of transfers, even back before the quote unquote transfer portal. And I think a lot of it came because I think uh, that kids were told things that coaches knew weren't going to happen. And I thought coaches were as much responsible for that as anybody. But uh, I think the key to all of this is being honest and transparent. I think it's important they come on campus and spend time with our players and that uh, our players answer questions for them as well. Let the parents ask our players questions and make it as real as you can make it and as transparent as you can make it. And I think if you do that, you can solve a lot of problems before they ever really get festered. How helpful is it, the Dalton Connect example that you guys have to use? Well, I think people certainly, uh, again, we talk about transparency with, with him. A year ago this time, we had no idea Dalton was going to do what he did. And, we, you know, we don't, we're not in uh, where we're comparing Dalton or saying, hey, we're expecting you to come in here and do what Dalton Connect did because we didn't know what he was going to do. It just he did it. He, he really evolved into that. But uh, the one thing that we – will always do is not put anybody in a box when they first get here. We're going to make sure that that they uh, understand that we want to see them grow in every area. And the only way we can do that is to throw a lot at them and give them a chance to uh, show us what all they can do. And, and oftentimes, more times than not, we're surprised, to be quite honest. And so uh, that's what we want to see when we bring people in. And then from there, we can build a program and to where we think that we uh, what they need to do to help us right now. What have you liked about Cade's offseason? Cade, uh, a lot really. I, I think when he had a tremendous spring, uh, you know, he really did a lot in the spring and uh, he was one of those guys that stuck around and put a lot of time into it. And I think Cade's another example of uh, when you, you know, what you put into the game is what you get back and he put a lot into it to improve and uh, in the areas that we ask him to improve. And uh, then, uh, you know, we were really only had 10 scholarship players throughout the summer, and he and Felix had to go against each other. And I, I don't even know they got a wrap off all summer that we, we had to play. And looking at it right now, I think it was great for both of them. And, uh, but with that said, they, they were really competed against each other. and. and uh, and, uh, and both of them would take it help them. You said you're surprised oftentimes when the guys are coming from the transfer portal. Who or what has surprised you about this group? You know, I think all three of our guys this year, uh, you know, we obviously had a lot of confidence with them coming in. And uh, I can say this, that none of them have disappointed us. Uh, we knew it would be an adjustment for all of them, understanding the uh, regardless of where they went, they were all three going into a new situation. and. Even you throw Bishop into that, you know, being the only freshman that we signed, I mean, it was going to be totally new to them. And uh, regardless of how long they've been in school and college and high school, that it's a different game uh, in the way the speed that we want to play with, uh, the work ethic that we that we like from our players. But again, it goes back. Our older guys have a lot to do with their growth uh, by telling them, hey, this is how we do it. And we've always talked about when your older guys will really be the ones that help you through the coaching process, process it makes it easier on everybody, and our older guys did a good job with that. Who have you tried to develop maybe behind Zakai at point guard out of the options you have? All of them. You know, uh, we, we, we want versatility. We want those guys to be able to hand, handle things because we do some different things where every guy does have a chance to handle the ball and 
but uh, you know Jordan's played there. It's a hard position to learn. Bishop, I think, has done a good job uh, with it, but it's difficult when you're going against Zakai Ziegler every day because what he does when Zakai was out those couple weeks, uh, it was a little bit easier for him. And when Z, Z came back, it, it, he realized it's a whole lot harder because he's just going to fight you for every bounce and every every spot on the floor that he knows he wants to get to. He's not going to give in to it. But uh, again, it's helped, it's helped Bishop. He's, he realized that it's harder than he probably would imagine. But uh, we've even used Igor there. You know, Shaq's played every position there. And uh, uh, certainly Chaz has been there. So we, we put a lot of different guys there and we'll keep trying to create that so we can use different guys in different situations. What do you feel like you've learned most about this group in the last couple of months? They want to be good. You know, they do. They, they've worked hard. Uh, it's been tough uh, because of the lack of numbers. We've uh, got a pretty good scout team that we've had to use. But uh, when you've only got 10 active scholarship players and uh, to go at each other the way we try to go at each other uh, and the fact that they've been competitive, they work at it, and. Uh, have had, had really terrific attitudes, and uh, but uh, and they want to be good. There's no doubt they want to be good, and they want to get better. And you can tell that by the fact that they put so much time of their own when they come back on their own, wanting to get better at the different things that we that we ask them to do. Besides the Kai, which players on this roster do you feel the best about being able to create off the dribble? Uh, I think a lot of them can create off the dribble. Uh, if you mean getting by people, yeah. the question is, do you make the right read, the right passing? That's up to us as coaches. We got to help them with that. We got to try to get them in as many situations. And you know, you you're not asking everybody to do that all the time. And but you do want to get everybody in a position. Uh, you know, now so much goes into scouting with analytics. You're trying to, as much as you can, get them to know how they're going to be defended and what space on the floor is going to be available to them. And, because the one thing we always talk about, if you go looking for trouble, you'll find it. And uh, But uh, we, we, we would like to see all of our guys be aggressive, attacking the basket. Uh, but with that said, they've got to be able to make the right read when they get Coach, it doesn't seem like you've had a guy like Igor before. You know, how can that change what you do offensively, spacing-wise, to have a big like that? Well, he, he's unique in the fact that he, he really uh, – can play a lot of different positions. He has played a lot of different positions, and he'll be a guy that will play probably all five positions at some point in time. Uh, and it's fun, to be honest with you, because he, he allows you to do some things that maybe we haven't done in the past. And, uh, and he's gotten better with a lot of things. And, and uh, when I think about one thing that he, we didn't know, he's a, he's a consistent rebounder, which we, we didn't know that, especially offensively and uh, very unselfish. And when you got a guy that with that versatility and with a mindset that he has of being unselfish, uh, it's fun to have because you can just mix things up with him. And you mixed through this team and you made it clear and set the same standard and expectations no matter what. So just this offseason, what is one thing that you saw 